What's going on guys, Chad here with Greenlight Shooting. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking ARs, man. Specifically, this guy right here, which is the WP-15, made by a company called Wolfpack Armory. And let me tell you, the first thing that sticks out is this thing is pretty. You gotta admit that before we get into anything, the thing looks super, super dope. The Cerakote job on this is very beautiful. Um, this is probably one of my favorite colors I've ever seen on an AR. So uh, big shout outs to them for their, their Cerakote job. So anyways, just to get this out of the way, Wolfpack Armory did reach out to me. They asked if they could send this gun out. They didn't pay for this video, but they did provide the gun. So take from that what you will. But uh, I had a lot of fun running this gun. And as I said, I think it's gorgeous. I think there's a lot of really cool things about it. So to get into it, let's talk tech specs, and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts, give you some of the things I ran it through, the pros and the cons. You guys know how these things work. So to start off with, MSRP on this guy is $1,200. Now that's important because you need to know what to expect and where this sort of fits in your lineup. You have some sort of entry level uh, ready to go AR-15s. In my experience, they're like, I don't know, $700, $800. That's probably getting you into your very first AR. Uh, you know, you learn a little bit more, you step up, you're sort of in this, this kind of mid range, this thousand to $1,500 range. You get above that $1,500 range, you're starting to get into some of the bigger names some of the really high quality things. And then, you know, you obviously can go up from there. But anyways, that gives you kind of a ballpark of where this thing lives, right in that middle tier. So tech specs on this guy, first thing that's jumping out at you is the obvious, the 6061 billet aluminum upper and lower. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of billet aluminum upper and lowers. I just think they look better. I think they function better. I think they just have a specific higher quality vibe to them than kind of your standard polymer counterparts. They're saying that these are precision CNC'd so that you can ensure a perfect fit between the upper and lower and there's no movement between the two. This handguard is a 15 inch lightweight. It's got your M lock attachments here. It's got a couple spots for a, a quick detach sling, which you love to see. It's got anti-rotation tabs and a barrel nut interlock system. Speaking of the barrel, we've got a 16 inch lightweight 4150 V and at the end here, it's a WPA concussion concussion reducer muzzle device. Can we just take a second to appreciate how cool that muzzle device looks? Like it's got that kind of like a suppressor looking vibe. Obviously it's not a suppressor, uh, but it gives you that kind of a feel that just like, mm, it looks great. And then one of the dopest parts is on the end here, they've got Wolfpack Armory going around the, uh, the very front of the muzzle device there. And I think that's just, it's just going the extra step with branding, which I really appreciate. Next up, their bolt carrier group. It's 8620 carrier material, 9310 bolt material, MPI tested, salt bath nitride case hardened, hard chrome plated firing pin, grade eight bolts and properly staked gas key. The gas system is a low profile gas block made from 416 stainless steel. Gas block and gas tube are salt bath nitrate case hardened. As far as a lot of the accessories here, we have an ambidextrous charging handle up here. We've got a standard mill spec trigger. We've got a mission first stock and a Magpul K2 plus grip, and then a standard Magpul mag that comes here as well. One thing I do want to point about the trigger is it says that it will accept binary triggers with no adjustments. So that's kind of cool. You've got a slight flare here on the bottom of the magwell for easy reloads. And then up on top here for sights, this sight is not included. There are actually no sights included with this firearm. So that's something you'll have to find for yourself. I threw on an EOTech that I had in the safe just for testing purposes. So that's what I've been testing this thing with is an EOTech and then I also had a flip up uh, magnifier when I was doing things at a little bit further range. So yeah, man, that's the tech specs of this thing, the WP-15. It feels really good, man. Like first impressions when I got this thing, A, like I said, I like the way it looks. Uh, they have a lot of really cool branding. They've got logos all throughout, branding on the muzzle device. So that stuck out to me. But you know, once we get past that aesthetics, uh, overall it feels good. I love how this is all skeletonized. It keeps everything really, really light. Um, and then we've got, a, you know, a carbine gas link system. It's got a 16 inch barrel. So it's staying really maneuverable still while being a long gun. And then at first glance, 
sense, the things that really stuck out to me is it seems like, you know, the, the, the heart of the gun is really good. You know, it seems like a really, really good barrel. The BCG, you can tell, is something that's really solid. But as far as the lower parts kit, things like that, that all seems super basic. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more here in the pros and cons, but those are kind of the first things that I really noticed while picking it up. Um, but then, I had to take the thing to the range, man. I had to shoot this thing, I had to put some proper rounds through it, just see how it handled. I put a couple hundred rounds through this thing. Shout out to Two Way Warehouse, by the way, for the ammo. Um, but it performed flawlessly for the most part. I mean, absolutely zero malfunctions. I didn't clean this thing out of the box or anything. I just took it out of the box, slapped on the EOTech, shot the thing. I did nothing to prep this whatsoever. I probably shot, I don't know, at least 250 rounds and there was zero malfunctions. So that's a great start. A lot of the pros that I was mentioning before are really kind of what uh, sung to me at the range. The thing seems extremely reliable. The barrel and the bolt carrier, kind of the heart of the gun seem to uh, be very, very high quality. That is something that they seem to have really taken their time on with this. I'm a big fan of this handguard. I'm absolutely gonna get, you know, some sort of a forward grip here, maybe throw a light on here. Absolutely using these quick detach sling mounts. So there's a lot of really good things going on here. I'm a big fan actually of this size of gun. So this is the first 16 inch AR that I've ever owned. I own like a 20 inch AR for like more precision stuff. I own an AR pistol for, you know, really quick maneuverable CQB kind of stuff. Um, I've never owned anything that's like an actual 16 inch kind of standard style AR. And I'm a big fan of it. Like I said, it felt very, very maneuverable. I was able to move this way, way faster, obviously, than the 20 inch one that I'm used to. I mean, it's not gonna stand up to a pistol, but like you have the full 16 inch barrel. So, you know, this thing is, is dope. I love how maneuverable it was in terms of the skeletonized uh, handguard. Everything felt light. I never felt like this thing was dragging me down like I do with, the, with my longer AR. Um, so that was, yeah, that was all fantastic. After doing some kind of moving drills, some steel drills, I did want to test the accuracy a little bit on this, but I mean, I couldn't do too much. I did some really, really basic tests. Uh, I didn't have a scope, so I just threw this EOTech on and uh, I hardly zeroed it. I made sure that I could hit, you know, like a piece of steel that big. So that was really all the zeroing I did. And then I ended up shooting at like a shoot and see target so that, you know, we could see groups and things like that. But, you know, I was standing up, I wasn't supported. It's not like I was trying to go for stacks on stacks. So don't take that. But what I was really interested in is just to make sure that I could hold a group with this thing, right? And uh, I could hold a group at the beginning of my shooting session and the end of my shooting session uh, once everything was, you know, kind of cold bore, once everything warmed up, things like that. And uh, overall, it did fantastic. So then I did kind of a little bit more of like a, a critical scenario thing where I did kind of a mag dump, just making sure I could, you know, keep it all within that circle once again. And uh, yeah, with absolutely no problems, both cold bore and, and at the end of my training session, uh, this thing did just fine. So very happy overall with the accuracy you know for my purposes I'm not someone that's generally gonna be taking a gun like this out past a couple hundred yards I'm sure with the proper optics and you know arrest it will perform just as well as the round will let it perform so I have no doubt that uh, the accuracy is is there with this gun now let's talk a little bit about some of the cons that I experienced Number one is what I already said. It's a, it's a very, very basic lower parts kit. Very, very basic stock. All of this kind of accessory stuff is super basic. Whatever, I, I understand that it's not supposed to be a luxury tier gun, so that's all fine. And at the end of the day, that's all stuff that you can swap out. Uh, my biggest thing I noticed personally was the trigger. I'm kind of a trigger snob though. I've gotten really, really used to good triggers. So this trigger, it's your basic mil spec trigger, right? It's, it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but if it were me, that's the first thing I would upgrade. They do actually offer that upgrade on Wolfpack's uh, website. I believe they up it to the two-stage Geisley trigger, which is obviously a super, super dope trigger. The other things that I would do is I'd probably just add like a, you know, a, an ambi safety selector, an extended mag release, things like that. Just 
add a little bit to it. I like this charging handle. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'd probably just keep that. Um, and then the Mission First stock is, I don't know, take it or leave it. I don't love it. I'd probably replace it, but I think it's, it's fine. I did find myself reaching for a forward assist from time to time. So the fact that I didn't have that kind of was unfortunate, but uh, you know, whatever, it's not the end of the day. The one thing I will say that I did notice while shooting this though, is that there was a pretty significant amount of felt recoil. Um, and I don't honestly know what that comes down to. I don't know if that's like a buffer thing, a spring thing. I don't really know. All I know is that when shooting this versus shooting some of my other ARs, I don't feel as much. Like this one just seemed like I had a, me and Kyle were talking about when we were shooting. It just seems like it has some extra oomph. You know, like it, it seems just kind of, I don't know, like loud and, and, and let you know that it's there. Like I said, I don't know what that's attributed to, if that's something that you can swap out or not. Uh, it wasn't bad by any means. And in fact, after shooting it for a little bit at the time, I barely noticed it. The other thing I'll say is this handguard did get really hot. Um, and, and that's probably because I ran 250 rounds through it in like an hour or less on a fairly hot sunny day. So you can't really fault it for that. Um, just be aware that, you know, you'll probably want gloves or at least a grip or something like that. that. That all being said, the heat did dissipate very well out of all this. So I don't think there's any fault there. I don't know that it would be any different with any other AR. Just the fact of this material and things seem to, uh, you know, draw a lot of heat pretty quick. So just something to keep in mind. And then the last thing is just that it doesn't come with any sights. Obviously not the end of the day, it's just one more thing to think about if you were to order this thing online. Now for me personally, I like dots, I like EOTEX, those kinds of things, as opposed to you know scopes and things like that on my ARs, unless it's something that I'm using primarily for longer range stuff. This is kind of always my go-to setup, and I, I was very happy with it on here. You know, if this was like your first AR that you got and you get some flip up iron sights or something like that, that's dope. I think this setup will accommodate pretty much whatever optic you personally want to run. I just wanted to give you a heads up that it doesn't come with that. So make sure to factor that into your budget if you're looking at this thing. So yeah, man, that is, uh, that's my thoughts on the Wolfpack WP-15 AR-15 rifle, man. This thing has been fantastic. It's been a lot of fun to shoot. Like I always come back to, it looks really, really good. So I think you're gonna see it in a lot more of my videos and photos. Um, it was very fun to shoot in terms of, you know, no malfunctions. It wasn't a pain in any of that sense at all. If it's me, I'm probably gonna upgrade this trigger. I'm probably gonna upgrade a couple of these different accessories, but overall the heart of the gun, the, the bolt carrier, the barrel, the receivers, those are all super high quality. So I would not worry an ounce about like the integrity of the rifle. It's just for those kind of little, you know, those little step ups. If it was me, I would wanna add those things. But yeah, man, for 1200 bucks, this thing is a pretty killer deal. If you're, you know, looking at your first AR, I think this is a great great option, something that'll like set you up for future in the long run. If you're buying your first AR and you buy like a, like a truly budget friendly one, you'll find yourself wanting to upgrade sooner than later. If you uh, purchase something like this, I think you'll be very, very happy for a long time. And when you do find yourself wanting to upgrade, you can keep the gun and just upgrade things like the trigger, the stock, some of them accessories, and you'll be happier in the long run. And yeah, man, like I said, super reliable, no malfunctions, great overall firearm and uh, I've been happy with my time with it. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Go check out Wolfpack Armory. I'm pretty positive they're on Instagram, so go check them out. I'll put that down in the video description below as well as their website. Go show them some love, tell them GLS sent you. And uh, yeah, man, that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. That helps me out a bunch. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this thing. Subscribe if you were down for the ride. And I'll catch you next time on Green Light Shooting. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.